All right, so last night, Rudy Gay did go ahead and sign with the San Antonio Spurs. Two years, uh, $17 million, I do believe, but he does have a player option for the second year. So pretty much today's video, we're going to see if we can lead the San Antonio Spurs to a championship, beating the Warriors, beating the Rockets, beating the Cavs, beating the Celtics. Um, let me know down in the comment section what kind of rebuilds you guys want to see from me. Um, I'm not opposed to doing 2018 team rebuilds, but... I would much rather prefer to do those in 2K18, but if you guys want to see them, just let me know down in the comment section. Make your voice be heard because really, my channel is for y'all. Like, you guys pretty much dictate what goes up on the channel. So, there's that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's get right on into this with the Rudy Gay San Antonio Spurs rebuilding video. All right, so first trade of season one, LaMarcus Aldridge for CJ McCollum and Caleb Swan again. Now, before I make this trade, let me just, you know, make something perfectly clear. These are unrealistic rebuilds. Like, these are not meant to be realistic. I'm not going to, you know, follow the Spurs game plan to win a championship in, like, five years. No, I'm trying to win a championship ASAP. So, if you don't like it, go somewhere else. But, hey, thanks for the view. That's all I'm going to say. Because I get comments like, oh, it's unrealistic for Westbrook to go here or Durant to go here or DeMarcus Cousins to go here. Well, guess what, man? Unrealistic is the way to go. So, LaMarcus Aldridge for CJ McCollum, Caleb Swanigan. There is my little PSA uh, for probably the rest of 2K17. Because if I get, like, one more comment, I'm just going to, like, uh, redirect them back to this video and just be like, yo, listen to this. Um, so, right now, we are good with, uh, obviously, Kawhi and CJ McCollum. Rudy Gay, I think I will have him as a six-man. Now, Pau Gasol, I know that he, like, reworked his deal, but I don't know what exactly the deal is and if... It's out there. I haven't gotten it yet. So we're just going to trade him. Um, and just because, you know, 37 years old, I would like to get a better center out of him. Maybe, possibly, maybe, hopefully, we can get, like, a Hassan Whiteside. I doubt it. But, you know, 2K's trade finder doesn't really know what it's doing half the time. So hopefully we can just get Hassan Whiteside, maybe DeAndre Jordan, maybe Nurkic. That'd be pretty cool. But 2K's trade finder is going to take forever to load. So I'll just skip to when it actually loads and I find a trade I like. All right, I said I wanted Hassan Whiteside or DeAndre Jordan or Nurkic, and we are getting Hassan Whiteside on the San Antonio Spurs. Pau Gasol, Bryn Forbes for Whiteside and Willie Reed, who is a free agent in real life, but I don't know exactly where he's going, so he's just not in the uh, free agent pool. Also, because I get this, you know, comment a lot, everyone's like, well, how do you start, you know, in the offseason with the uh, updated rosters? Pretty much what I did, I started from today, I controlled every team, I made sure every team had the right draft pick, I made sure every team drafted the right player, and then I just pretty much update the free agents as they go. So, uh, when you look at the Rockets, they have Chris Paul. When you look at the Pacers, they have Darren Collison and Bojan Bogdanovic and Victor uh, Oladipo. When you look at the Nets, they have D'Angelo Russell. So, I, I do this myself, I update it, but if you guys just want to start from the regular 2016-17 season, uh, download Embrace the Pacers draft class. See, I kind of want to trade Patty Mills because, like, it's just it's just a lot of money. Uh, 12 and a half for four years for him. I don't want that. And I also don't want Danny Green on the team. So let's just see what I can get for both of them right quick. So I was not able to trade Patty Mills and Danny Green. So we're just going to keep him on the team and roll with this rotation here in season number one. Uh, wow, our power forward spot is really weak. Didn't realize how weak our power forward spot was but we have four shooting guards on the team don't know exactly how i feel about that so real quick though uh danny green sorry bro like i get it you know spurs fans probably like you you know b plus three pointer b minus perimeter d but like i need a power forward very bad uh john lure it, i mean like that's not a bad deal but it's also not like a great trade for me to make marvin williams uh david west nothing nothing here too great so let's just go ahead and take this one for John Lewis. We're getting our new starting power forward, I think, uh, if he's going to start. Yes. So he is starting. Uh, Tony Parker, CJ McCollum, Kawhi, John Lewis, and Hassan Whiteside. Then we got Rudy Gay as our sixth man. Dwayne Dedman, Patty Mills, Kyle Anderson, and Manu Ginobili. Actually, like, sorry, Ginobili, but I kind of would like to have a backup four off of the bench. I mean, that's just me. So let's go ahead now. Simulate to the end of season number one. I don't think we can beat the Warriors this season but i mean it's 2k's simulation so you really never know russell westbrook averages his second straight triple double and also wins his second straight mvp award 
Markel Fultz wins the Rookie of the Year. Jeremy Lin, sixth man. Rudy Gobert wins the Defensive Player of the Year. 14.2 rebounds and 3.2 blocks a game. Damian Lillard, most improved player, averaging a double-double with points and assists. And Logan White, how in the hell did the Clippers actually go 63-19? and so we went 15 32 you know usually that's good but in the west that only gets you the fifth seed in the west uh we finished behind the rock okay how did the clippers actually do that well i'm very confused as to how they did well i mean yeah like this isn't a bad team but i mean there's no way they should have gotten the uh, number one seed in the west no way that that should have happened uh tony parker do i really want you starting no i don't really want you starting so patty mills will be starting for the playoffs, uh, let's just take a look at the player stats now on the season. Uh, Kawhi Leonard, basically 28 points. CJ McCollum, 17. Rudy Gay off the bench, 16. I'm surprised he didn't win sixth man of the year. How did he not win sixth man of the year over Jeremy Lin? Okay. Uh, Whiteside put up 13 points, 12.2 rebounds, and 2.2 blocks a game. Uh, these are the standings. Pretty much it was these three teams, the Clippers, Warriors, Thunder, and then uh, pretty much everybody else. It, see, like, if we were in the East, we we would be tied for the uh, second seed in the East. But it is what it is. They're taking on the Rockets in the first round. Uh, they added Archie Goodwin, Gerald Henderson, Shelvin Mack, uh, Terry Black. Uh, Ryan Anderson's out for the year with a torn Achilles. So, I... I, I, ah, I don't know. I mean, like, I kind of like our chances, but you really don't know what 2K. Uh, we lose game one by a lot of points. I don't know how many points that is because you guys know I'm pretty trash at math. We do tie it up at one, though, as long as we don't go down in the series. And, of course, we were down 3-1. And uh, just like that, we have been eliminated. Okay, so let's see who wins the NBA championship. Uh, the, the Thunder beat the Warriors, and the Thunder somehow go ahead and win the NBA. Ch okay, all right, all right okay. So why not go ahead and trade Hassan Whiteside for the reigning defensive player of the year. Whiteside for Rudy Gobert, also a top five protected 2020 first round pick. First trade of the offseason is complete. Now, I don't know how I feel about having Patty Mills on this team. Like, yes, he's a good point guard, but come on, dude, like $12.5 million, that is just so much for a point guard. I mean, like, I get it. It's, you know, today's NBA where bench guys are getting that much but still that's not necessarily what i want to see um uh, montrose harrell low-key kind of tempting but no instead we are gonna go with ish smith uh pretty much same overall he's one year older and he's making a lot less money so welcome now ish smith to the san antonio spurs i think i'm good in terms of trade maybe john lure and uh jonathan simmons is gonna stay here uh let's see what we can get for john lure real quick maybe we can get a power forward uh ooh, amir johnson actually i'm thinking i'm thinking montrez here um i think he will be a better fit for this team that's just my opinion and it doesn't really look like there are any better deals here i mean there is gorgy jang but I mean, we are already fine at center. So let's go ahead and take Montrez Harrell from the Los Angeles Clippers. And we don't necessarily have enough to go after a big name free agent, which is what I would like to do. So Montrez Harrell, I know we just got you, but like uh, Bobby Portis uh, is making a lot less money. I know we have to give up our 2019 first, but we are getting the Bulls 2020 first round pick. So Bobby Portis now, welcome to the team. Uh, taking a look at the player contracts. Now we have $26 million in cap. I think I'm good. Uh, pretty much this is what the free agency class looks like pretty much uh, it's the same as it usually is but boogie could go to the bulls pg probably gonna go back to the thunder there's chris paul and bead deandre jordan d'angelo russell i have tried to get d'angelo russell in so many of these offseason rebuilds and he has not came here yet so i'm gonna try to go after d'angelo russell so d'angelo russell uh hasn't made a decision yet and i really want joel Embiid. like okay i know that i get joel Embiid and uh demarcus cousins a lot but like i'm just trying to build the best team possible and honestly the nets are probably gonna match my offer for d'angelo russell so i mean like there's no point in me getting him so joella bead rudy gay ryan anderson yo rudy gay four years 55 mil like geez i mean if if this was not titled the rudy gay san antonio spurs rebuild i would not be bringing him back but only because it is i am bringing him back so just keep that in mind uh, okay, Rudy Gay, geez, that's a lot of money. And then Kyle Anderson, we will be matching his contract. He was going to go to the Pelicans, not anymore. And I, oh, what? Come on. I thought I, man, oh my God. Okay, so, um, awesome. That's just, that's super duper great, bro. Man, I love this game so much. Now we have like no room for anyone. I mean, I can get Pal back, but what's the point of getting Pal back? If I already have a back, I don't have a backup center. So let's go ahead and get 
Pau Gasol. Damn, man. I really wanted Joel Embiid on the team. 6.68, number one team there. Uh, I think we need a backup four or a starting four. Not really too sure. Uh, let me check real quick. Uh, we, we need a backup four. So um, I'm going to go ahead and make that signing. And of course, of course, D'Angelo wants to come here. But we cannot afford him. Pau Gasol, welcome back to the San Antonio Spurs. All right, so we are not going to make any trades here to start off season number two. We got Deontay Murray, CJ McCollum, Kawhi Leonard, Bobby Portis, and Rudy Gobert. Off of the bench, Rudy Gay, Pau Gasol, Jonathan Motley, Kyle Anderson, and Tony Parker. Uh, this is how the rest of the roster looks. I did have to release Jason Hands, or not, not, not Jason Hands, oh boy, Jalen Hands, because we had too many players on the team, and I really just didn't want to get rid of uh, any of these guys. So, here we go, simulating season two. If I need to make a trade, I will, but you guys know the drill. If not, then you will be seeing me at the end of season number two. Russell Westbrook wins his third straight MVP award, uh, but this time does not win or does not average a triple-double. Was very close, though, was .3 rebounds away from doing so. Luka Doncic wins the Rookie of the Year as a member of the New Orleans Pelicans. Frank Nielakino wins sixth man. Hassan Whiteside, oh my god. Okay, so Whiteside doesn't win it when he's with us, but then when he's with the Jazz... He wins even as a player of the year. Okay, whatever. Clint Capella, most proof player, and Billy Donovan, coach of the year. All right, player stats on the season. Kawhi Leonard led our team with almost 20 points a game. CJ McCollum there, 18.3. Rudy Gay off the bench, 13.8. Rudy Gobert, basically 11 points, 9 rebounds, and 2 blocks a game. Uh, this year, we did really do so hot. 46 and 36, not too great. But taking on the Suns in the first round, I think they got Brooke Lopez. Uh, yes, they did possibly. Maybe they did. Oh, okay. Well, he's hurt one to two weeks. And Josh Jackson, two to four weeks with a strained MCL. So we should be good here. Uh, hopefully. Is there anyone on our team that's hurt? Kyle Anderson is recovering from a bruised right hip. And that's pretty much it. So we should win this series. I expect us to win the series. Not lose by 30 in the first game. But as long as we don't go down 3-1, I'm fine. As long as we... Okay, good. Good. Unlike last year. No, 3-2. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. We need to come back and win this game. We need to come back and win this series, and it's not looking too hot. Oh, man, two-point game. Oh, man, are you telling me I'm going to have to jump in again? I really don't want to have to jump in again. Really don't want to have to jump in again, and I don't have to jump in again. Okay, win 108 to 100, and ooh, the Lakers and Warriors are in a game seven. So are the Thunder and the Timberwolves. But we need to take care of business here on the road in Phoenix. Let's go ahead and do it. Come on, y'all. We are, like, so close to winning this game. I think we did it. There we go. There we go. Finally advance to the second round. And please tell me we're facing the Lakers. Yes. Let's go. Taking on the Lakers. They won by two points in overtime. They don't have Draymond Green. I'm guessing he is hurt. But, hey, I will take it. The Lakers got Melo and Ennis Cancer. Okay, we might low-key lose. But if we win... Then we're probably going to lose in the Western Conference Finals. Okay, we win game one. I like that a lot. Of course, they tie it up. That's 2K for you. We take the 3-1 lead. Wait, no, we are not about to blow a 3-1 lead. That's not going to happen. That is not happening. No, just wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is... Oh, what? Oh, come on. Rudy Gobert's out for the year. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, of course we're going to lose. There is no way we actually win this game or this series. There is no way we do either one of that. Come on, bro. We get so unlucky with injuries, man. Give less minutes to Willie Reed. Okay, I'll do that. Go ahead. Oh, man, dude, I'm pissed. And we somehow are going to win this game. Makes no sense. But, um, all right. So we win game seven. Um, we beat them 128 to 102. But we're going to the Western Conference Finals, taking on the reigning NBA champions. And Rudy Gobert is out for the season. Uh, Jonathan Motley is out one to two weeks. And Bobby Portis is out one to two weeks. So, taking on the Thunder now. No one on their team is hurt. They, have, they added Tristan Thompson, Julius Randle, uh, Tyson Chandler. Okay. Um, yeah, we are screwed. There's no way we are winning a game this series. There's no way. Like, we are getting swept. It is happening. 3-0, 4-0. Okay, 3-1. But if we can somehow come back from this, that would be amazing. I doubt we can because we're down by a lot. And that's all she wrote. Okay, so... Um, if we don't get, you know, if, if guys don't get injured, who knows what happens? Russell Westbrook, finals MVP. Let's go on to season number three, and hopefully we can make it to the NBA finals. And I'll throw in, uh, Jonathan Simmons, too. Oh, Miles Turner. Miles Turner, welcome to the San Antonio Spurs. Kyle Anderson, three first-round picks, and Jonathan Simmons. Okay, things are looking nice. Miles Turner's gonna play the four, um... 
because I mean really he's like he's like the perfect stretch four. So now we have a pretty pretty good big four. Um, and what that does for our contract situation, Miles Turner already signed a big contract, so uh, we only have six million dollars in cap, and we need to sign Kawhi back if he does not accept this player option. I would so trade Rudy Gay in a heartbeat if he if 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 he was not the point of this video, because like look at what I can get for Rudy Gay. Probably some things that are just a little bit better. Like I can get the ninth pick. Like that's pretty good. Um, other than that, pretty much nothing else. But like, still, I, I mean, I would, I would do this one right here. Rudy Gay for Jay Crowder. That's only if Rudy Gay wasn't the point of the video. But of course, he is the point of the video. So, uh, yeah, six million dollars in cap. I don't think we, uh, obviously, we don't have any draft picks because I just traded away pretty much all of our first round picks. This is what the team looks like going into free agency. Hopefully, we can just re-sign Kawhi and uh, get some good bench pieces. And you know what? Life is good. Yes, I know we have. Rudy Gobert. I know we have Miles Turner, but I mean, when Marcus Saul is just chilling in free agency, you don't pass him up. So Marcus Saul, Kawhi Leonard, welcome back. Well, welcome back, Kawhi, and welcome Marcus Saul to the San Antonio Spurs. Now Kevin Durant most likely going to leave again. He's gonna go to the Jazz. Uh, Jazz Mavericks and Hornets. I don't understand, you know, why those are things happening, but okay. Clay Thompson uh, gonna go back to the Warriors. Wide sides here. Uh, obviously can't get him. Pretty much, I'm just looking for old guys that want to come here. Dwight wants a lot of money. Uh, I think uh, I think I'm good to be honest. Like, there's nothing really crazy that I need. Um, let's go ahead and uh, bring back Bobby Portis. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna wait until he signs with someone. Honestly, that's just what I'm gonna wait and do. Uh, Davis Bertans, Bertans, Tomato Tomato, uh, Willie Reed, and Ish Smith all welcome back, y'all. Uh, pretty much now we're just gonna simulate to the end of free agency, and uh, I will see you guys at the start of season number three. All right, this is what our team looks like here. Start of season number three, Deontay Murray, CJ McCollum, Kawhi Leonard, Miles Turner, and Marcus Gasol. That is our uh, starting five. Pretty much Gasol and Gobert are interchangeable. I don't care who's the sixth man and who is the starting center. Then we got Rudy Gobert uh, or Rudy Gay. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> Jonathan Motley, Bobby Portis, and Davis Bertans. Definitely don't want three power forwards coming off of the bench, but um, I think that's probably... I mean... Do I, do I, okay, okay, all right, Tony Parker is going to get 10 minutes a game, only because I just want a backup point guard off of the bench, hopefully this doesn't come back to bite me in the ass, hopefully it doesn't, um, I don't think I'm going to need to make any trades, but you never know with 2K, hopefully we, we can just make it to the NBA Finals this season. So this is just a quick look around the league, uh, DeMarcus Cousins landed in Chicago with the Bulls, uh, Steven Adams is on the Cavs, I'm just, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out where uh, Kevin Durant went, and he, he didn't go to the Hornets, so where did Kevin Durant go? Uh, you know, Melo's on the Lakers. Kevin Durant went to the Mavericks, and did they make the playoffs? They are the two seed, okay. Um, uh, hopefully we don't have to play them at all, but round one, we are taking on the Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, we lost them last year in the Western Conference Finals, but, uh, I forget who was hurt. Someone was hurt. I think it was Gobert was hurt. Uh, so hopefully this year we can, you know, beat them now. Hopefully we can. This is the reigning two-time NBA champions, real quick though, player stats now on the season. Uh, I'm just going to go through this real quick because I'm just trying to get done with these playoffs because I feel like we can win the NBA championship. Win game one by seven points. You know, of course they got to tie it up. I mean, we are facing the back-to-back -back NBA champions, but we just eliminated them in the first round. Now taking on the Minnesota Timberwolves. Things don't get easier. Uh, they have Robert Williams, Tyus Jones, Patrick McCaw, Monty Yunus. Sadoransky, but DeLon Wright is hurt one to two weeks and Justin Patton is hurt four to six weeks. Let me just make sure no one on our team is hurt. Okay, good, because I'm not trying to get screwed over by injuries again. Hopefully, we can just make it now to the Western Conference Finals. Oh, sweep them, sweep them. Yeah, okay. Now, Kevin Durant versus Kawhi Leonard. Here we go. This is what the Mavericks team looks like. Uh, Dennis Smith Jr., obviously, Trey Lyles, Nerlens Noel, Dwight Powell. Monte is back on the Mavericks. I feel like we can beat this team, but... They do have Kevin Durant, so I can't count them out. And uh, we tie it up. We take the 2-1 lead. 2-2. No, don't take that. No, 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 no. First of all, let me check. Make sure no one's hurt real quick. Um, no, this is not supposed to happen. We're not supposed to be down 3-2 to this team. So pretty much what we have to do is win two straight games, one on the road, one at home. Obviously, that is the name of the game. Hopefully, we can come back here. Not really looking too hot. Not looking too hot at all. Oh, my God. How do we lose? How do we lose to that Mavericks team? I don't understand. I don't under... Okay. Um, are the Mavericks... Okay, cool. Mavericks win the championship. You know what? We're just going to go on to a season four real quick because I feel like... I feel like, you know, we have a strong chance to win the championship. 
All right, so I need a backup point guard on the team. Uh, I did go out and get Al Horford in free agency for the minimum, but I only got him to trade him. So Al Horford, Bobby Portis, first round pick for Jordan Clarkson and the Blazers agree to the trade. So welcome now Jordan Clarkson to the team. This is how we are looking. Uh, Deontay Murray is our starting point guard. Then we got CJ McCollum, Kawhi Leonard, Miles Turner, Marcus Saul. Then we got Rudy Gobert, Jonathan Motley, Jordan Clarkson, Willie Reed, and Rudy Gay. Man, I wish I could trade Rudy Gay because he's making a lot of money, but it's fine though. Uh, hopefully this could be the year that we don't get screwed over by 2K and we can actually win an NBA championship. So we finished 53 and 29, second in the Western Conference, taking on the Golden State Warriors in the first round. I'm not going to go over stats. That is pretty much irrelevant at this point. All right, Steph is out one or two weeks. We should be good because uh, their backup point guard is Shabazz Napier. So we should be good there. Hopefully we can just beat them and they don't win a single game. That would be the uh, ideal situation. And so far, looking so good. Let's make it 4-0. Oh my God, come on. I swear, don't don't you dare blow a 3-0 lead. I swear to God if we blow a 3-0 a, a lead. Like a 3-0 lead. That's never been done before. But there we go. We win it 110 to 91. Now taking on the MVP, Lonzo Ball. Uh, he is there one to two weeks. They have Melo, Cancer, Zubat. Jeez, uh, how many centers do they need? Oh my God. Okay. So we should beat them, right? I, uh, okay. Uh, apparently not. As they go up 2 1, I was going to say 3 0, but then they, you know, and then, 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 you know, we won, you know, three straight, and then, you know, we just won four straight, and we're on to the Western Conference Finals, taking on the New Orleans Pelicans. Man, we better not lose. That's all I'm saying. They added Gordon Hayward in free agency. Okay, Luka Doncic, Cech Diallo. Uh, did he go there? No, okay. Uh, Bojan Bogdanovic, they got Holiday, Alexis Ajinka. I like our chances a lot. We don't... Oh, how do we not... No, this is not going to happen. How are they up? Thir Come on. Like, how are they up? 3-0 against us. It does... Like, no one's hurt on the team. No one's hurt. Doesn't make any sense. That's why we're down 3-0. So we got to... We got to, you know, pull off a historic comeback if we want a chance to win the series and we can't even stay. How in the hell does this team beat us, dude? Like, how? Can somebody look at this team and tell me how they beat us? Like, how? It makes no sense. Okay, well, we get screwed over by 2K in the final two seasons. 76ers win the championship. Markel Fultz, finals MVP, man. We got screwed the hell over, man. Final team. At the end of four seasons, I still can't believe we cannot win a championship. Kawhi Leonard, Rudy Go oh, well, okay. Rudy Gobert, Miles Turner, Marcus Saul, CJ McCollum, Deontay Murray, Jonathan Motley, Jordan Clarkson, Willie Reed, Davis Bertans, Rudy Gay, Andre Igudala, and Ish Smith. Make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. Like I said at the beginning of the video, let me know down in the comment section what kind of rebuilds you guys want to see from me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys all next time. Peace.